this is called shabu shabu, mm -hmm. and I order uh, Matsuzaka beef and two types of Kobe beef, mm -hmm. different okay. parts. I've lived in Kobe now for like three months, and I still haven't had Kobe beef. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm uh, Michaela or Mitch. I'm from Austria. I'm here with my sister. <laughs> Hi, I'm Yvonne. I actually am a foreign student here in Japan. I've been here for like three months now, stay until February, and this is my first time in Tokyo. I'm here just to sightsee with my sister. Yeah, it's been fun so now. <laughs> Up until now. <laughs> so what is the impression of Japan? Differently, it's uh, pretty cool, and now I like uh, the um, culture and the foodie style the most. Food is... Uh, <laughs> There's some things that was pretty good, mm -hmm. then we had an adventure. adventure. <laughs> it's very different from Europe, like everything. It's very efficient, mm -hmm. Japanese people are very nice, Austrian people can be very mean. Yeah, so it's, it's a nice change, really? I enjoyed Just it. Just when we uh, were around a uh, station or something, we didn't oh, yeah. know where to go, so yeah. we would have to look confused and then somebody would like, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> You just look at the map like... Uh, <laughs> for two seconds uh -huh. and then there's already someone there helping. That's something that's not normal in Europe. No. <laughs> like everything is big, like especially Tokyo, of uh, course. Which part yes. of Oslo? So we're from the south. It's uh, the, the capital city is Graz. So we live in Styria. It's a very rural uh -huh. area of Austria. But I think Austria as a whole is a rural country. Um, what is the capital of? Vienna. Vienna. It's Vienna, yeah. It's Vienna, right? This is appetizer. Mm -hmm. Just some vegetables, and I think inside there's like a smoked salmon. Mm. Yep. And it's like a you know, how to say that. Great. You live here for like a three months already, mm -hmm. but you didn't try this okay. style of. No. Not at all. So I live in a student home. I try to cook myself oh, as much yeah. as possible to save some money. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Hi. 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 Okay, this is uh, Matsuzaka beef. Alright. And wow. this is Kobe beef. Mm -hmm. The part of shoulder. Oh. And this is a uh, brisket. Yeah. But different parts. <laughs> yeah. But you can try. You All can right. see it. What is the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's very quick. Yeah. All day. Okay. Take it out already? Yeah. I think it's okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That one called me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. One, two, three, go. Yeah, when the car changed, then that's a time to pick it up. Okay. I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. I think you don't want to overcook it, right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone tells you it's melts in your it melts in your mouth. <laughs> like yeah, okay, it's not bothered. But it does. <laughs> it's really good. It's crazy. So is the sauce generally for the vegetables or do you just mix and match? You can also try sesame sauce with beef as well. So what is a typical Austrian food? There's um we eat um, a lot of beef. Beef. And pork. Okay. And yeah, I think the most famous one is the schnitzel. Oh, schnitzel. <laughs> schnitzel, yeah, Viennese schnitzel. Uh -huh. And I guess everything potato based and knödel. 
I suppose we, we share it with the Germans. I think Germany and Austria has... A similar um, food. Yes, like they fight constantly over who invented what. <laughs> There's like the sausages <laughs> and like they keep fighting. No, it's Austria, no, it's German. <laughs> so yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah. mm. Mm -hmm. Which one do you yeah, like the them. best? You try three types of beef. The first one. In Austria, a very traditional food to, um, to eat um, in New Year's mm -hmm. is fondue, but not like the Swiss people with cheese, okay. it's just oil. It's boiling oh. oil and you put meats. Most people eat it during Christmas or New Year's. <laughs> I think this one is my favorite as well. Do you usually have trouble getting people to come with you? <laughs> if I ask like a three or four people, mm -hmm. one say yes. Today actually I tried two groups of people. Okay. Yeah. And you're the third one and I succeeded, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think foreigners tend to be usually very open. Yeah, very open. It's, it's an opportunity to get right. new experiences, yeah. Which one do you like the sauce? This one, oh, this is better. Okay. Yeah. I like this, I actually prefer this one. Um, really? No, I think yeah. it's too sour. It's, okay. good, it's good, but this one is better. <laughs> I see. So what, what do you do? Well, yeah, what's your job? Uh, I'm working in a pharmaceutical company in the laboratory. I'm testing uh, the pills that we make. General Did medicine, right? General, General medicine. medicine. Yeah. Not, not exactly pills, but uh, medicine. I see. For, for colds and other things, or heart uh, medicine. I'm just testing uh, the, the medicine that we produce, if they actually have the, uh, the, the, the substance um, they ha need to have, and if it's not too much. <laughs> I'm studying art history. Bijutsuchi. Bijutsuchi. Mm, art history. Um, in Europe, it's very hard to not study Christian art, medieval art, but I actually try to specialize into contemporary art, modern art. That's why Japan is also very interesting to me. Oh. Like installations, like team lab, for oh. example. Like team lab. Yeah, mm. for, for interactive art, mm -hmm. where the whole body becomes part of the art piece. Mm. It's very interesting. That's what I do. I also work part-time in a, a museum at home. I think I learn more during my job than in university, <laughs> just from the experience, yeah. Great. Alright. I'm running out of meat, I'm sad. Let's eat the salad first. <laughs> it's my last piece last of meat. Piece. Oh, no. Enjoy it. Oh, as I will. <laughs> I'm crying because it's so good. <laughs> what, what was interesting you when you started liking Japan? It's that I've been watching anime. Oh god, I think <laughs> it, it, it always does for everyone. I think for most people in Western yeah. countries it's anime. Ah. Yeah. It's the first time you encounter that's something different than it's you're like used really, to. It's really, really yeah. different. Is it kind of normal to watch Japanese anime on TV? It used to be on television a lot. Um, not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, people start to watch more uh, on the internet, mm. Netflix and so I see. on. But like the big ones, I think One Piece Naruto. The old ones, the good ones. Moon, they were on television like forever. Yes, that's, that's something we grew up with, yeah. Okay. Chibli is also very uh, yeah, yeah, popular. Yeah, is uh, one of our because favorites. It's, yeah, it's completely different than anything that gets produced in Europe um, or in America. America like, Chibli, yeah. it's, it's, I've never seen anything like it, especially the old ones, like Nausicaa. Afterwards, I, I googled more about Japan and I got more interested in the culture because it's, it's 
So it's a, a, a sharp contrast to our mm -hmm. culture. Uh, how everything. It seems like the completely opposite of, of our yeah. 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 Heidi, actually, do you know Heidi? I see it. It's actually an Austrian Swiss yes. story. Yes. We watched it like we grew up on this. Yeah. Like read the title card oh, at the end that yeah. said like all Japanese names, right? I never knew it was an anime. I was so yeah, shocked. Heidi from Austria. Yes. Austria. Well, it's it's the story I think plays in Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, we share the Alps. Everything okay. is like Austria, <laughs> Germany, and Switzerland. Yeah, they are all. It's just the same. Yes. <laughs> Who cares? Hi. I don't know here. I'll take it. We are very slow eaters. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's fine. We are enjoying. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So now, now just put them in. Gonna let you suffer first. Okay. Alright. Alright. Winter Olympics. Yeah, Austria is very big on winter sports, so the Winter Olympics are... <laughs> Do you ski or snowboard? Yes, yes. I think in Austria, if you if you haven't learned skiing by the time you're like five years old, you get disowned from the country. You have to give back your passport. It's very popular. Like there's school trips, every, every school goes to skiing in the winter. Every year, yes. You, you almost cannot avoid learning how to ski. Okay. So it's getting very expensive. Oh, every yeah. year, yeah. Like it starts to become like gold. You know, the rich people's sports. Mm. So what is the famous mountain? The whole country is mountains. I don't know. The whole country is mountains? Yeah. Uh, no, I think the um, the biggest one is Boskopna. I think Dachstein is the biggest one in Austria. It's yeah. literally the the roof. It, like, it means the roof. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, Austria is really beautiful. Like yeah, mountains, yeah, yeah. countries, countryside. It's gorgeous every... Um, season. Um, if you're interested in like um, European architecture, then obviously Vienna. Yeah. Like Vienna and Prague. It's not very far away. You can visit a lot of those cities. Yes. Check. Yes. It's very. It's very close uh, it's, and I it's see. very similar. It's yeah. not Austria anymore, but yeah. <laughs> so like Vienna, yeah. if you, Hofburg, all of those very like the castle, all those very huge, expensive historical buildings. Yeah, they're all in the center of Vienna. Yeah. If you go to Salzburg, maybe Mozart's hometown. So if you really have a maybe a week in Austria, that's plenty of time because it's very small. Uh, I think Austria is like the center of the Europe, so you can access to That's any countries yeah. around it. The popular type of traveling in Europe is the, is the train ticket. It's, it's uh, train like, ticket. like here when you have like a, a Jera Pass. The Jera Pass yeah. Yeah. You can go and order the ticket um, beforehand in the country Europe. And you can almost go with any train in whole Europe for like wow. a month or two months. You can go like to Paris, up to Holland, mm -hmm. to Germany, down to Austria, and Italy. You can go all the way down to Rome. I had friends that did it for like three weeks <laughs> and I think they paid like for all the commendations and train tickets like 5,000 euros. It's a lot, a little bit. but you see almost uh, every country in Europe. So. I know, these are <laughs> It's like jello. Yeah, it's slimy. <laughs> I, they have like a three types of dessert, okay. so I said, okay, get all of them. Uh, all of them. Ah, okay. Milk pudding? I think, I think it was pudding or something. Yeah. Mine is. I don't even know what it is. How do you eat this? kind of yogurt. The food was amazing. I can um, recommend hot pot to everyone. The Kobe beef was amazing. Like, I think it gets praised enough, but it is really good. Yeah, I also like the food. Um, tasty, yes. No, I also heard much about the Kobe beef, and it was really as good as it was described. So. It, was, uh, really it is worth friend. the money. Oh yes, that's, that's it. <laughs> Thank you a lot Thank for the food.
Yes, right. thank you. <laughs>